Today we are making a review of a Unity UT243 digital clamp meter. Let's have a closer look. The device is provided in a shockproof plastic case. It is a handle for transportation, so it is convenient to carry it. The package content a CD with software, user manual, USB data cable, four probes. As our clamp meter is not quite ordinary, it allows measurements in three-phase four-wire electric mains. That's why we have four probes. And four alligator clips for each probe. Here we have the meter itself. Some detailed information about the device. It is an alternate current clamp meter. It allows measuring in both single-phase and three-phase mains and the three-phase mains with the three and four wires. The maximum measured current is 1000 ampere voltage up to 600 volt. Except for voltage and current, this meter can measure frequency, power factor, determine the phase sequence, as well as measure active, apparent and reactive power. This device may also serve as energy meter. One more interesting feature is measuring nonlinear distortion factor for voltage and current and also determine the harmonic composition of currents and voltages. The device dimensions are not tiny, but taking into account the device functional characteristics, it is considered rather compact. It is made of high quality plastic with a rubber coating along the perimeter. It can withstand light shock. You can measure the current of a cable with a maximum diameter of 55 millimeters. The front panel houses are large multifunction display control buttons and measuring probes connection terminals. The back panel houses the battery section. The device is powered by four AA batteries. And there is a connector for optic data cable. As the device is capable of working with a three-phase four-wire electric mains, the package includes four probes. Each probe is equipped with removable alligator clips may be attached from any end of the probe that is very convenient. Let's connect the probes. Each color represents one of the phases A, B, C and N. Now we connect the alligator clips to the probes. The device is ready for operation. You need to connect the USB cable for data transfer. And to activate the data transfer function, you need to press the USB button. A PC connection is activated. I'll demonstrate a simple example of using the device. Let's measure the electric line voltage and determine its total harmonic distortion. I'm using the probes from a traditional multimeter because the clamp meter probes cannot be directly inserted into a standard power socket. We connect the probes to the device and to the socket. As we may see, the voltage is about 229 volt and the total harmonic distortion is 5%. I have tried to measure a square waveform and the total harmonic distortion of a square waveform is about 41-42%. As this clamp meter is a three-phase, all the functional characteristics may be shown only during the measurements in three-phase system, which we are going to show you. Now we will conduct real-time measurements on site. This is a three-phase four-wire electric mains of 0.4 kW. First of all, we connect the probes for voltage measurements one by one. We need to follow the safety rules. Phase A. Phase B. Phase C. And neutral phase. The probes are long and flexible, so it is convenient to do it. 
so the clamp meter is connected. Now it is ready for measurements. Let's probably start the measurements with phase A. We may measure the current in different places. There, there or there. But it is most convenient and safe to measure it right here. We clamp the meter over the phase A. As we may see, the first line shows the active power plus 10 kW. Voltage and current. We may also measure the apparent power, voltage and current. Next, we have the measurements of reactive power, voltage and current. It shows the power factor, sine phi, phase angle, frequency with voltage and current correspondingly. Now the clamp meter operates in the active energy meter mode, showing the time, power and energy in kilowatt hours. Next mode shows us all three voltages and with this arrow we may determine the phase sequence. In our case it is correct. Let's measure, say, the active energy of this circuit. For this we have to measure the power of each conductor. We have one conductor here. To save the result as we have only one current tester and we need to test conductors one by one. I press clear button and the result is in the memory now. I move to another conductor, press select button, get the data for the second conductor displayed and press clear saving the result. And the last conductor, select clear, the result for this conductor is saved. Now we may see the total power is 40 kW. Using this principle, we may measure all the parameters we mentioned before. Active and reactive power, power factor, determine the phase sequence, check all the phase voltages and so on. This model has one more function. It may transfer the measurement results to a PC. We will demonstrate this. Measure the voltage of all three phases and record the reading for 30 minutes. For that purpose, we should make the following adjustments. Deactivate the auto power off function to prevent the device from switching off during the measurements. Switch off the device and during switching on, hold the select button. The default auto power off time is 10 minutes. You may select 20, 30 of off. I want to disable this function because we are going to conduct long-term measurements, then save this. Next, press the USB button to activate the data transfer and after that connect the cable to the meter and to a computer. After the meter is connected, just press the connect button of the software. I press it and the data reading starts. The device is capable of measuring three parameters at a time. In our case they are active power, voltage and current. I need to measure the voltage of all three phases for half an hour. You may fully control the device using this software, even switch on and off the backlight. I switch to the voltage measuring mode. Ok, this is apparent power, reactive power, power factor, sine phi, phase angle, frequency, energy, here it is, voltage. I set the data to zero. And the data readings start. We record three voltages of three phases. I will conduct measurements for half an hour and later I will provide a link to the measurements file with a video. The file will contain a table with the measuring time, the device mode and all three measured parameters. You have seen for yourself that Unity UT243 digital clamp meter has a wide range of functions and they are the best choice for electricians maintaining low voltage three phase mains. This clamp meter may operate in automatic data recorder mode 
and store all the measured parameters in a file. One more advantage of this device is that the clamp meter is certified. 